Hey guys, how is it all going? So, thank you so much for joining me for what is the burning from 1981 movie review. And just to dive into the plot of this movie, it's a simple plot, guys. There's a guy called Corpsey. He's like a janitor, caretaker at this summer camp. Anyway, he's not particularly well liked by a certain group of kids and they want to play a prank on him. But unfortunately, the prank goes horribly wrong and Corpsey ends up being engulfed in flames, set on fire, like over 90% of his body. Not a good time for anybody. Anyway, we fast forward five years later and Corpsey goes back to the summer camp to take revenge and just kill all the kids at this camp. That's pretty much the plot of the movie. Um, I know that this film has a lot of fans, a lot, and it's considered an absolute classic and an underrated slasher movie from the 80s. It's also been called a rip-off of Friday the 13th, and it's a little harsh, I've got to be fair, but there, there are elements, there's a lot of Friday the 13th in this, especially the earlier Friday the 13th movies, I would say more like part one and part two. Especially with the point of view of the killer. It's very, you know, it's very reminiscent of, especially the Friday the 13th movies. Especially with it being set in a camp as well, you know. But, I think the film's actually quite well directed, um, to be honest with you. So, I'm, I'm going to jump straight into my positives uh, with the burning. And... As always, whenever we talk about this guy, Tom Savini, where, whenever he's involved in a project, he always brings his A-game and the effects and the makeup are absolutely no different in the burning. It is absolutely top-notch, especially when it comes to the killing. There's some fantastic kills in this movie. There really is. And his work to help bring that to the screen and bring that alive is just brilliant. So there's no surprise that the special effects and the makeups in this is top notch because Tom Savini's involved. I also love the look of Corpsey when we finally do get to see him in all of his glory. He looks horrible, <laughs> like really horrible. And I like the makeup I did. I thought he looked great, to be honest with you. There is no way you would want to bump into that fucker in the woods at all. Actually, doesn't only have to be in the woods, anywhere. <laughs> you never want to bump into this fucking prick at all. It's terrifying looking. And also, I, I thought it was quite cool that he had a flamethrower at one point. You don't really see that in your slasher movies much. You don't really see like your killer, your villain with a flamethrower. So I was like, well, that's new. I've never seen that before. That's cool. I really enjoyed that. So there is a lot to like. From the burning. Oh, also, I don't know why it, it just passed by there. That scene, and you know that scene I'm talking about. It's iconic. It's a classic scene. I already knew about this scene, like, long before I've even seen this movie. And I'm pretty sure you'll be the same if you haven't seen the burning. It's that scene where the kids are on the raft, and they're going over to the canoe. And the next minute, corpse, he comes out the canoe with the shears above his head. And just start stabbing down on the kids. Killing them. Like cutting the fingers off. And all that. It's a great scene. It really is. And it's the standout for me in this movie. It's the standout scene. And like I say. Savini did great work on that scene as well. Them kills were fantastic. And it's a massive highlight of this movie. It really is a massive highlight. To dive into my negatives, and just to go back a little bit when I was explaining how this movie does have a lot of fans, I do get it, I do, and there is a lot to like in this movie, but the main problem for me is what just makes the film just okay for me. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's good. I'm in the middle when it comes to the Burnham because it is so slow so slow 
And I don't have the best of patience <laughs> in the best of times, to be honest with you. Um, but nothing happens. Nothing. I mean, the moment he comes out of hospital, we get a little kill with, should we say, a young lady of the night. <laughs> and he kills her, and then he goes back to the camp. And then nothing happens for a good... I would say 45 to 50 minutes. Nothing. We get a couple of times at the point of view of Corpsey where he's like watching the kids or following them. But other than that, it's very slow to get started. And I must be honest with you guys, I was like, I was clock watching and then I was seeing how long we had of the movie left, how long's gone. And I'm like, come on, hurry up. Let's, let's, I'm, I'm waiting to get to that scene because I know how icon iconic it is. And I must admit, the moment it nails that scene, it goes into overdrive then. It becomes a highly entertaining slasher movie. And I loved the last half an hour, 35 minutes of this movie. But I wanted more of that. If the film could have gave me what I loved about it and stretched it out a bit more in the movie instead of making us wait for so long, I probably would have a higher rating. For the Burnham because I enjoyed the last half an hour so much of this movie. But like I said, you just got to sift through a lot of nothing. <laughs> Basically nothing. And I'm sure that was done just to pad the movie out to like an hour and a half. But hey, it is what it is. It just, in my opinion, it just dragged for me. It just really did drag. But like I say, once you get to the goodness of it. This film delivers, but it just takes too long to get there. And also, with a lot of all the horror movies from the 80s, the acting is not the best. It's cool to see certain actors who are in this that went on to have like really big careers, like your guy from um, uh, Seinfeld, Jason Alexander, is it? And then your other guy from like Short Circuit. You know, it's cool seeing them in like earlier roles in, a, in this movie. But, uh, yeah, the acting isn't the best. And there's one particular character, and I am going to single him out. And I don't know the actor's name. And I'm, I think the character's called Alfred. He's the one that, like, paves on the girl in the shower at the beginning. Now, I don't want to be too harsh on the actor. I don't know whether the director has told him to perform that way. Or it is, or, or it is his character. I, I don't know. But I thought he was terrible. Terrible in this movie. And like I say, I'm trying to figure out whether I couldn't stand the character. Whether the character irritated me. Or the performance irritated me. I'm not too sure yet. But, oh, I thought he was he was annoying. Absolutely annoying. And there was one point where I just pissed myself laughing at. Where Corpse is chasing him through the woods. Now... He's running like this. He's got his arms like this. But it's just the face he makes. He's got a face like he shits himself. But he's surprised he's done it. So he's running through the woods. And I'm not kidding you. He's like this. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, if there was ever a character I really wanted to die. It was him. Couldn't bear him. I couldn't stand. <laughs> and then he hides behind the rock and corpse he's looking and he's like this and I'm like I don't, is this an acting choice or like has he been told to do he, just awful terrible terrible but like I said the, the acting for the most part in this movie wasn't great anyway but a lot of the times you don't come to these movies for the acting you want the kills, you want the slashes, you want the goodness in it. And like I say, the film does provide that eventually. But it takes an age to get there. So overall, I thought The Burning was okay. And I do recommend it if you haven't seen it. But I, I can't get it to fresh. I would, I would have it as a 2.8 out of five i would give it like i say to be warned it is slow it's a slog to get through 
at first. But when you hit the last 30 minutes, when you get to that scene, it becomes so highly entertaining. I just wish we got more of that early in the movie as well. Because it would have I would have rated it a lot higher. But I do recommend it. And I do understand why this movie is so loved by fans. But just for me, in my humble opinion, I just thought it was okay. So, I hope I haven't upset you. <laughs> so, guys, as always, leave a comment below. If you love this movie, let me know. If you don't like this movie, let me know. If you agree with me, let me know. It is always, always a pleasure hearing from you. And, as always, guys, please, take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you again real soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye now.